came down uh, just on the outskirts of Alton to visit something that I used to come to a lot when I was a young boy. Uh, something called the Druid's Oak. It is now known as the Chained Oak. It has huge chains around the limbs of this oak tree. And here it is. Aha, the worn steps. Apparently locals don't go up these steps because they're scared in case something weird happens to them. Well, I'm not a local, am I? Well, not really. I was, but I'm not anymore. So nothing's going to happen to me. Let's go up. You know what would be fantastic? If I was to spend some time here, maybe at night, and tell a few stories, a few legends, myths and ghost stories around this area. It's full of them. It's full of them. Ooh. I went to school at St John's Prep School, Alton Castle. You know that castle that stands on the edge of the cliff. Uh, and any prep school boy who attended St John's will know instantly of the Grey Lady. Who was she? Well, she was a ghost who wandered the school. In particular, she wandered the corridor. She walked towards the unfinished tower. Sometimes she could be heard walking up the stone steps of the unfinished tower. Who was she? Well, the great lady was supposedly either the widow or the daughter of an Earl of Shrewsbury who waited in vain for either her son or her husband to return to Alton from overseas but he never came back she still waits today the grey lady there are two tales of horsemen around the village and the first one is a, uh, a quite scary entity a former knight who rides a white horse along the Alton to Farley road he is actually unmissable as his armour clangs in the night. He has no head as his horse clippity clops along that lonely, lonely lane between Alton and Farley in the middle of the night. Ooh, I wouldn't like to see him. Oh no. There is another ghost, known as the Horseman of Alton, who rides around the village. This spectre does have a head. He also has a hat. A large top hat. He's usually sighted in the fields in the summer months. There is a fantastic little legend around Alton and it's to do with the Anglo-Saxon Lord Robert of Huntingdon whose lands were confiscated including those around Alton. Everybody I'm sure has heard of Robin Hood and this may be the true legend. Robin's lands were confiscated by the Norman overlords in the 12th century. Though usually associated with Nottinghamshire and Leicestershire and Yorkshire, Robin fled to Walton and he dressed in green to blend in with the countryside and also with the peasantry. His real name was never mentioned again by the locals in order to keep him safe. He was referred to only as the Green Man. A pub on Alton Common was named for him. But as the legend slipped from memory, so was the name of the public house altered to a new name, the Highwayman. A passing local, an old lady, saw the sign across the threshold being altered and she put a hex upon it foretelling that the establishment would fail. The Green Man pub is now destined to be pulled down for housing. Coming up in part two. The Catacombs of Alton. A hidden treasure. Druids and blood sacrifice. 
and the legend of the chained oak.